Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Celebrating Act 2 with my co-partner, Art Kirsch, and our fabulous friend, Bill Jordan, the baby boomer. Hello, fabulous I, friend, Bill Jordan. I have never, <laughs> ever, ever in my 66 years on the planet been referenced as fabulous. I am going to cling to that one. Embrace, well, you deserve em, it. embrace the present. You deserve it because you are, you know, I like to call you a philosopher because with your 15 practices, you've kind of collated wisdom of the ages and uh, uh, narrowed them down to very simple practices that we should try to do every day. But you're aimed at baby boomers. And uh, yeah. let's face it, baby boomers are now, you're a smack in the middle, but baby boomers are now between, what, 56 and 76, something like that, roughly. Yeah. And so over 50, the Gen Xers are starting to turn 50. We've got at least five years, six years of Gen Xers who are, you know, Facing celebrating the same problem their second act. And celebrating, celebrating the same issues as uh, baby boomers, uh, which is a good over, overarching uh, issue. And you are a great representative of the baby boomer embracing uh, uh, activities. So, but Gen X is coming right up there. They've actually, right. they're, they're joining the tribe, if you will. Any, uh, yeah. advice, any advice for them? Come on in, the water's fine. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's. Uh, has to do with attitude. I think it has to do with. And this is a regret I've got. When I left uh, commercial radio, I was a in, in you know top forty in uh, pop radio for almost forty years. When I left at fifty eight and a half back in uh, twenty thirteen, I I thought I was going to follow certain paths. Those paths didn't work out. I sat and waited for those paths, and I should not have waited. I should have kept thinking I was going to do that, but I should have found something else to do while I waited for these paths that I was assured that was going to happen. And then they did not. So I, I, I wasted probably two, three, four years since then trying to figure out what life was going to bring to me. Uh, I did hatch this idea of embrace the boom um, back in October of 2019. It actually had been percolating for longer than that, but I launched it back in October of 2019 with 15 practices and videos that are on a YouTube channel, Embrace the Boom of all things, uh, to help me really for myself to remind myself, but I find that others are benefiting from this philosophy. So somebody who's 50 or getting close or anybody at any age along the timeline, I think can uh, uh, adapt these to their own lives. You know, attitude of gratitude, stay in the present, calm is a superpower. Uh, expect the unexpected and when possible, be the unexpected. Little things like that. I think it is key, and I've heard this from several people who have left the workforce, whether it be their own uh, you know, decision or not, um, and that is to have a purpose when you get up in the morning. I think that rituals in the morning uh, are key to get your day started. Uh, you know, here, Here's an analogy for you. If you guys have ever been offshore fishing, the captain will take you out, when he gets to where he wants to, he's over a wreck or something, what does he do? He sets an anchor. He sets an anchor for that fishing trip so that he keeps you over the hot spot. I, I really believe in anchoring my day in something positive, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I got my readings I do. I'm trying to work out every day. I try to you know, allow time to think. I listen to music. I find something to make me laugh. Anchor your day in something good. Find a real purpose in your life. And my wife uh, got this book, and I wanted to share it with you. 25 years ago, this author named Julia Cameron wrote a very famous book called The Artist's Way. And it has to do about creativity. And I think that we all have a seed of creativity in us. And she's written this follow-up book, It's Never Too Late to Begin Again. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. And it's you want to talk about philosophy, and she's got different kind of exercises in it. Just check out this book. You don't have to buy it. Maybe the library's got it. Look at it on Amazon, see a synopsis of it. But it really is never too late to begin again. 
And maybe, you know, it's funny, you know, we've talked about this before. I go to the grocery store and the, and the cashier's bemoaning the fact that, oh, I'm getting old. I said, you are, you're getting old. How old are you going to be? I'm going to be 23. Oh my gosh, you're going to be 23. <laughs> I've got so much responsibility. Oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for you. As I leave and watch the other older cashiers descending on this poor person to, to give them a, you know, a, you know, a little piece of their mind. You know, 50, but people are thinking they're old at 30. People are thinking they're old at 40 and 50 and 60. I, I think it is a matter of your mind. If you stay young, look at, look at, you know, they are older celebrities. Dick Van Dyke, you know, kind of comes to mind. The guy is still like goes to the gym every day. So uh, it, it's attitude. It's, it's where are you mentally uh, is the key. You got to stay young, find something that you love to do, find your passion and do it. Good, that's good the advice. best advice. That's mm -hmm. the best advice I've got. Yeah. No, that, Find but, a reason to get up in the morning. And, and I think that's the, the key to um, the multi-generations is that you have to recognize, uh, and I'm talking to the Gen Xers now who are turning 50, 55, you have to recognize that everybody's gone through the same thing before you. You know, and while your specifics may be different, you know, okay, the economy is different than when your parents were 50, um, and we're not, you know, we're not in a second world war, um, but it, it's still the same experience. Turning 50, you have the similar anxieties that your parents had, and now you're going to turn, you can expect to turn 60 and have the same anxieties then. So it really is... Uh, it really is sharing. That's why Art and I created Celebrating Act Two for yeah, because, people because, over fifty. Because John, uh, John helps people with their anxieties of turning fifty, and I look towards the opportunities. So we have the yin and the yang. We have, yeah. and you, you embrace besides the boom, you what you're really doing is you're embracing life, uh, and uh, That's uh, it. Yeah, you, you initially as we see it and why we love you so much is that you were talking to a generation of people who maybe needed that little extra bit of, of, of reinforcement. But the truth of the matter is that you're embracing everybody who's growing older and who begins to get to a point where they decide that maybe there's more to it than just what happened yesterday or what I'm just grabbing a hold of today, uh, but maybe I could be kinder to uh, the people around me and things like that. So. Yeah. Uh, I want I want to uh, uh, raise a, a toast to embrace the boom, Bill Jordan. <laughs> yes, Bill hey Jordan guys. file. And Appreciate embrace it. the boom, and maybe even embrace the X if you need to. You know? hey, <laughs> hey, embrace life as you say, and, that, oh, yeah, and that's the whole that's the old gist of this: is live your life, forget your age, and, and embrace the boom. Embrace life in general. Thanks right for having on. me back, guys. I, I but I think that you should start an, a, a special new category of X marks the spot. Okay, so that could be like a sub uh, subculture of Embrace the Boom. There you go. Well, no matter what the age, we love your philosophy and your wisdom. Well, I appreciate being here with you. I heard a good line about wisdom. Wisdom is simply a matter of taking our own best advice. Oh, I like that. Ooh. I like that. All right, with that, we'll say goodbye. Thanks, and we'll see you soon, you wise you man, time. you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.